Okay, so we were cutting along, no problem. And then if you look at this, the outer edge, you'll see that it's deeper. Uh, so I lost steps in the Z axis. So uh, I came back and I checked. I checked the height and everything, the way I set set it, and it looked like it it did actually sink down thirty thousandths. So um, this motor here has it's either underpowered or um, I've maybe maybe have that set with the steps too fast. I mean the feed rate too fast. So that's two ways you can fix it. You can come over here to the let's see X, Y, and Z. Ooh, it's a little loose. Feel these things. Make sure they're not too hot. But I'll come in here to the Z axis on this screw. That'll be my positive terminal. Come up here to the negative with the other uh, for the voltmeter. And right now it's at 0.7 volts. I'm going to take it to 0.8. And what I've got over here, if I go to the setup, I've got, when I originally set this up, I set the feed rate at uh, 20. And when I started cutting this this morning, I set it down to 15 because I knew 20 wasn't going to work because it kind of just barely did work. Um, I think I had these set at, uh, maybe 80, I don't remember. But what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down to 10. And X and Y is not giving me a problem, but I'm just going to go ahead since I can't really cut that fast anyway. Uh, I'm going to take these down to 50 and take this down to 10. And then I will hit Program Arduino to refresh the... Uh, the memory in there and I'll try again so yeah it's a little bit aggravating but you know once I get, get it set right it might be slow but maybe it won't uh, maybe it won't lose steps but you got it before you check the um, I mean before you change the voltage on the driver down there what you're going to want to do is you want to check the motor. You want to feel it, make sure it's not very hot. If it's if it's already hot, you don't want to bring be bringing the the voltage up. And right now it's it's a little more than lukewarm. And these these other ones are this is kind of cold. That one's a little warmer. That one's kind of lukewarm, and that one's lukewarm. So they all have, I could, I could put more voltage on the X and Y, but I'm not going to. This is the axis that, that is giving me problems. So I'm just going to go up from 0.7 to 0.8. And like I said down there, I'm going to change the X and Y feed rate to 50 and the Z to 10. That will help uh, reduce the chance of uh, uh, losing steps. So there you go, a little bit of troubleshooting.